And there's still some water in there, you can hear it. Now, I can take Harry Hippo off and occasionally, you know, I just give him a rub down. If I wanted to show you some corrosion from finger oil, I guess I can show you from this side, right in here. This is where you hold this instrument and you can see how the silver has been corroded away through, you know, friction and sweat and use. Uh, but all in all, and here's another place, this is where you hold it with your other hand. You can see where the hand mark is, the silver plating is all uh, taken off. Uh, and that just comes with age and use. Um, people with, you know, very expensive instruments, like anything, treat it like a very expensive instrument. Um, you know, you'd want to make sure that you wear gloves and have protection when you're holding it and playing it. And I mean, some of these instruments can be upwards of $20,000. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I, you can have a piece of land somewhere, or a fantastic car, or a tuba. My friend Kevin chooses tuba. Uh, so there, you have, you've just flushed your body, and now I'm drying it off on the outside so I can work on it a little. What I want to do now with the body and one of my tools, this is where you can have a snake or a scrubby brush. I have a just a simple, relatively light gauge wire that I use and a piece of fabric in the end, soft terry cloth again. You can use an old sock, a t-shirt or whatever. Some people um, are very concerned about the inside of their instrument. Again, this is not a terribly uh, expensive instrument, so I'm using the materials at hand. Yeah.